Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Aladdin. I watched Aladdin on Thursday when it first came out. Um, I went to our local mall and seen it. And it was, it was like my childhood flash right before my eyes. Um, they did the original... Um, they were so faithful to the original, um, and I don't want to hear anybody else complain about Will Smith as the genie, because his performance was absolutely brilliant. Um, unfortunately, Robin Williams couldn't be with us anymore because he passed on, um, passed away, so obviously... Um, Disney has to go with somebody else, um, but Will Smith put 110% of his full performance into it, um, and he did excellent. Uh, I think that the casting choices were absolutely spot on perfect, other than Jafar. So, this movie was so faithful to the original right down to the last song and it was just so amazing um like the pacing the special effects the story and the whole nine yards was just like the original and yes they added a couple things here and there and changed a couple things here and there but they were i'd say 90 percent faithful to the original the only real complaint that I had about the entire movie was Jafar. Um, I think that they could have... <sighs> I don't know. He, he just wasn't Jafar. He wasn't the right choice for Jafar. He, I mean, the actor wasn't the right choice. Not saying that he's a bad actor. He's just not Jafar. Um, but... And, and the whole portrayal of Jafar, I don't know what, just, if Jafar had been removed from the movie, it would have been perfect, because, I mean, obviously there had to be a villain, so he had to be there, but there was no perfect, more, there was nobody more perfect th than who they had casted for Aladdin spot on, um, right down to the vocals, um, Jasmine, she was absolutely beautiful, and, um, a lot of people were, were complaining because they didn't have her in the, um, slutty red outfit that she was in at the end of, um, the original one, I think it was red if I remember correctly, but, in this movie, she was trying to take herself, I mean, they, she is a serious female, um, the only heir to the throne, so you really can't take somebody serious when they're, you know, trying to be half-naked and everything, so I'm really glad that they changed her and made her more classy about it. So... There's my thoughts on that. Um, like I said, they were very self-aware of uh, how ridiculous the genie looked blue and everything and his appearance and everything. And they were very self-aware and, and very lighthearted about it and made jokes about it. Um, but like I said, Will Smith was 110% on his A game. He was such a highlight of this movie. Um, <clears throat> Aladdin was so... Like, the actor was so, like, visually... He was, like, a visual representation of Aladdin. <sighs> yeah, Jasmine. I think that they did, and I was shocked that to hear that um Guy Ritchie was the director. 
that really shocked me because I mean I'm not really into his type of movies uh, but he did an incredible job on my Sam Aladdin and I can honestly say that they did not ruin my favorite Disney movie growing up because Aladdin was my favorite. Out of all the Disney movies, Aladdin was my favorite um, Disney series slash, well, movie slash series um, because there was three movies and then there was the TV show. <coughs> and I, I cannot wait for the sequels. I'm really glad that they gave closure to some of the characters. Um, Acrobat was absolutely beautiful. Um, I was having a horrible, horrible week leading up to the release of Aladdin. Um, my mom had been admitted into the hospital um, for a few days. Um, I was hit with really high um, electric bills and everything, and and. I ended up having an electrical fire in my house uh, a day after that, so the week was really, really crappy. Um, and then one of my friends took me out to go watch it um, because she had known that Aladdin was my favorite Disney movie growing up, and this movie was so great that it even with everything going on, it had put me in a great mood. Um, I was singing along to all the songs in the movie, and it just, it just really flipped my mood around. Um, and that's very rare for a movie to do, but I think that they did amazing. Um, so, and the reason why I'm so quiet, guys, is because, um, because of my electrical fire at my house, uh, I have to do repairs on it and everything. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm staying with family, and they're all downstairs watching the race. So, but anyway, <coughs> yeah, um. And Jasmine really never mentioned her mother before, and I'm really glad that they mentioned her a little bit in this movie. And I'm really, it's really cool. Um, I think the actor's last name is Massad. That plays for um, uh, Aladdin, and he is an Egyptian who speaks perfect English obviously also Egyptian, um, but I think that's so cool. I think that is such an amazing um, casting choice. And the girl, Naomi, I think that's her name, played for Jasmine, and um, absolutely, she is, first of all, she's breathtakingly beautiful, and um, yeah, she did such an amazing job. And I would have hated, now seeing the movie, I would have hated any other person playing for any other role besides Jafar in that movie. <clears throat> and I really don't want to hate on the actor. The actor is a good actor. He's just <laughs> not the right representation for Jafar. Um... But I can get over that because the movie was so great that it completely overshadowed that whole part. Obviously until the end, you know, when it's right in your face for more than a minute, but... <clears throat> yeah. There, there, I watched it in 3D also. It looks really great in 3D. Um, so this is another movie where this is why we don't judge a book by its cover, because everyone was criticizing Will Smith as the par for G the genie. And guess what, folks? There ain't no better genie that's alive right now that could have done better. 
Um, <clears throat> and this is another reason why I don't care about what the critics say because as you can see on Rotten Tomatoes the critics really don't know what they're talking about because the fans love it people love it in general because it really is a great movie and it is a great representation of the original so and <laughs> of course I read um, all the articles with all the different uh, critics saying how there's no passion or that it was too different. No, it wasn't. It was not too different. And we clearly weren't watching the same movie because there was a lot of passion in that movie. There's a lot. Like, you could... And there so, was so much chemistry between Jasmine and Aladdin and the, all the characters interacting and stuff. Like, there couldn't have been more passion to it. I love the carpet. I love Abu. Um... Raja, I love too in that movie. Let's see. Yago, like, he was a creeper in that movie. Um, like, some of the stuff that he would say would be sadistic and stuff, so that was pretty hilarious. Like, the, the, the tone in his humor was different, so. Anyway, um,. If you haven't watched Aladdin, check it out. It is amazing. It is worth it. I highly recommend it. It is easily one of my favorite movies. And um, guys, I cannot stress enough how amazing this is and how the critics are so wrong. Um, so check it out for yourself. Think for yourself. Um, if you have to, watch the cartoon version before you go. And you'll see how close it is. You'll see, unless you are, unless you absolutely hate Aladdin and you are there to nitpick, you won't care about the little changes that they made. Um, because otherwise it's spot on. So, um, and it's so cool. It was such a fun, filled, gloriously entertaining movie. Um, so all that I really have to say about this movie because it's so fantastic so check it out um, great job with the casting Guy Ritchie did an amazing directing this I hope they bring you back for the sequels because honestly I would have doubted you beforehand but trust again I will not doubt your your mad skills okay and your and your um, direction on these movies so um yeah you knocked this one out of the ballpark and the cast did so fantastic and the outfits the outfits were incredible <clears throat> i love the dance sequences i loved the musical numbers just as much as i loved the cartoon musical numbers it was so enjoyable I didn't dread any of it, guys. I, it started off with me absolutely loving it, so check it out. Until next time, guys. Have a great day. Catch the movie. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment below um, if you've seen the movie, and let's talk about it. And until next time, have a great day.